I'm James Dick, founder and artist director of the Festival Institute at Roundtop, which is in a very close proximity to Austin. You know, I think it takes, uh, as far as mileage goes, probably it's around 70 to 80 miles, and it's almost equidistant to Houston. So we're right in between those two major centers, and we have so many people coming from both cities, as well as from San Antonio, Corpus, Victoria, Dallas, Fort Worth. Um, it's a wonderful coming together. If people have friends in one part of the state and they're from another part of the state, they can come and meet here. It's a great coming together place. If you really want to know what Festival Hill looked like with their original six acres, um, be prepared. <laughs> it was five town dumps, um, which had originally, well, not originally, it had originally been a wonderful forest probably, but then the area decided to make it uh, a place for wasteland too, so it became town dumps. But there had also been a schoolhouse built some time ago on it, which was the first black school in Fayette County. And it's had a wonderful history. So we've kept this building and we still use it. We've changed it considerably into practice rooms, meeting rooms, rehearsal rooms as well. So uh, it's been a very useful building. But I also think just from a historic preservation standpoint, it's very important to uh, announced that that was a very important educational building for many years here. We have um, several buildings that we have brought in from other places that were going to be uh, destroyed. For example, the chapel from LaGrange. It was going to be turned into toothpicks. We brought it in, restored it completely, redid it quite a lot. And then we have an undercroft, a kind of stone chapel underneath it, which we use for jazz concerts. We call it Café Café. The Makey House, where our wonderful dining hall is now, uh, was a farmhouse in nearby Hempstead. It was also going to be torn down. And all the other buildings we built ourselves. The concert hall was just a, a steel structure. And then we had a portable stage, which we brought in, manufactured by Winger Corporation in Owatonna, Minnesota. And we used that portable stage for 15 years. And we had park benches from nearby Brenham that we finally rented. We bought some old steel chairs. And then we bought a lot of white plastic chairs from HEB. And we had those for nearly 20 years. Until last year, when we finally got these beautiful, wonderful concert chairs uh, installed. So we put in our dues. I see all these young artists coming from all over the world to play and to make music here, to study. We have great orchestra concerts, great chamber music concerts, solo concerts. We also have a great guitar festival every February. Um, that can't help but deeply inspire one, to see that a place is fulfilling its responsibility and its commitment. People have a wonderful opportunity to get out into the real, real beauty of Central Texas, but also see how you can take that wonderful natural setting and enhance it, enlarge it, and also make it valuable for people to go back home and be inspired. And I think that's unusual for a concert hall, because sometimes we go to a concert hall, we kind of get in, involved in a cave, and we don't really um, sit back and kind of breathe about the whole experience. The gates of Festival Hill are open 365 days a year. They're never closed. 
so people can come and run or picnic or just walk around, see the gardens and enjoy the place. So from that standpoint, it's a community of everybody who comes here. Not only the people who work here, uh, who love it deeply every day, every hour, but the people who come here, I hope feel that too. Become a DocuBlogger. Log on to DocuBloggers.org to share your opinions and story ideas, or get out your camera and create your own DocuBlog.